Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have a fun project idea to share with you and it's really simple to put together and I have called it an easy fold pocket flip book with mini envelopes. So um, it's a great little Christmas theme project as well. If you are doing some last minute Christmas swaps or if you are in a swap group, this is really easy for you uh, to put together. Um, or if you just want to send some crafty goodies as Happy Mail, again, it's a perfect little um, idea for you. And this is how it looks like. I had so much fun making this and um, it looks really difficult to put together. It's uh, nice and bulky. I've added lots of decorations on here and some dangles just to pretty it up. And um, again, it looks difficult, but it's really easy. Um, I'll just quickly also show you the papers that I used in case you're wondering. Um, I did use coordinating papers um, from Kazakraft. It's their uh, Wonderland collection. Um, you can see I've already used most of it already. It's uh, lovely papers and it's double-sided. And so I did use these um, for the project. So that's the back of that one. That's the other side. And it's a lovely a soft tone uh, greens and uh, earthy colours. So they're the uh, papers that I used. So I'm going to show you what I've got inside and how it looks like and then we'll do the tutorial. Uh, so what I've got here, I've made a little shaker using one of my um, older Christmas dies. It's a, a bauble die that I had and I made it into a little shaker. I've got some glitter in here and some uh, little seed beads and use some glitter paper. And I also made a dangle using my tutorial that I had just shared with you not uh, just recently. How you can make a, a beaded dangle using some string. So I added that to my project. Because I love adding dangles to these. It just pretties it all up. I then also added a little cluster of um, of a little Christmas bell and a little wood a little wood um, a wood shape, and that is also from uh, Kaiser Craft. It's their uh, wood flourish uh, pack. It's called Ornaments, and you get a little tray of them of these little Christmas theme pieces, which I think are so adorable. So I purchased that as well, so I could make the project and then I added um, some other bits and pieces from my stash some older die cuts uh, so I added one of these um, where you can then add your little message to the tag and I added some tool and use a garment pin to attach it to the little hole here for the closure of the pocket and I've used this really lovely soft trim that I just love, which I think it's knitting wool for knitting. And then I use that as the closure for the flip book. So I'm going to open it up and show you now. So you open this up and then you have this pocket where you can place your packaged items in there. I have some embellishments and some die cuts. And the pocket has a nice roomy opening in there so you can add some bulky packaged um, package items in there and it just closes up like that. And then when you open up this way, you have a little envelope and I used a little square foam dot as a closure and I just packaged some of those little wood pieces in here. So that fits in there nicely. And then you flip this over this way I made a little tiny tuck pocket at the back here for uh, some little flag banner embellishments and it just fits in there nicely. You could also add a little altered paper clip. Um, so it just fits these little pieces on the top there. And then this is another little envelope. Again, using the little square foam uh, dot as a closure. And then I'll place some of these uh, pieces that are fussy cut from the same paper so I cut those out and place them in this pocket and then on this side here is a front pocket as well place some of these older die cuts that I've had and then I just cut a few um, of the papers so that they would fit in this pocket and these are great you could make them into tags just another little gift if you want to give somebody some little pieces of your paper paper pieces and then on the back here I've got another pocket 
and I packaged some of the Christmas trees that I also fussy cut from the same paper collection. So it's these Christmas trees. And then I made my own bag topper and the opening opens up at the bottom. So that way you could take out what you want and reseal it and you don't damage your bag topper. And you can also reuse your bag toppers as well. So that was in there. I've also got inside uh, one of my other projects that I share with you using your cutter parts as a cover. I've got a little uh, paper clip dangle that I may still have in my shop. This is a really cute one. It's got a little star. Um, I use that as a closure. And then again, some more, uh, another spot to add some more fun stuff inside the pocket. So that fits in there. And then I just use that as a closure and that fit it perfectly inside this pocket. And this is the back, added another Christmas tree. This is a gingerbread house uh, die cut. And then this is that same dangle that you can see facing this way. So I really had fun and I really love this um, way of making this little pocket flip book with mini envelopes. That's the envelope, that's the other envelope, your pocket, another pocket and that's the back. So I'm going to show you how easy it is you can make one of these. And the great thing with this project, um, it needs only, uh, you can use your 12 by 12 paper and you can cut it in half and you can make two pieces or you can make two of these flip books with one piece of 12 by 12 paper because you're going to need your paper cut at 6 inches by 12 inches so you'll be able to get two pieces um, so you can make two uh, flip books if you are in a, a couple of swaps and then you want to also grab a 6 by 6 paper so you're able to make two of the mini envelopes and you want to cut that in half as well at three inches by six inches or you can use any papers that you like but um, if you just want to make it easy you just need um, a six by six paper and half of a tour by tour paper so let's make the uh, pocket uh, flip book first and then we'll make the envelopes to go with it so i'm just going to bring my scoreboard <clears throat> so and Right, so what you want to do with your uh, paper on the uh, six inch side you want to score at one and a half inches all the way down and then you're going to turn this around on the 12 inch side and we are going to score at three and a quarter inches six and three quarter inches and ten inches and I will put all the measurements down below for your reference as well, so you can look back at the uh, measurements. So I'll, just put that down. so I'll just repeat that just so you remember again. So on the six inch side, you want to score it at uh, one and a half inches. Then on the 12 inch side, you want to score at three and a quarter inches, six and three quarter inches and 10 inches. And then you want to grab your scissors and I'm not sure if you can see my score lines, but we are going to remove these three panels and we're going to leave this little piece here um, and leave that. So we're going to cut along that score line all the way till we get to that one here. Hopefully you can see that score line. And I haven't got my paper trimmer, so I'm going to use my scissors and hopefully I'm going to cut this straight. And I can't see where my score line is, so... I might, I'm just going to turn around this way so I could see. I'm hoping that's what it is. So, if you want to cut a perfectly straight line, just use your paper trimmer. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it back this way so you can see where I'm at. So they're the three. Uh, panels and I'm just going to cut this out on this side now so now you'll see you're going to have your paper like this probably use the wrong paper because you probably can't see the score lines and this piece here uh, put that to the side because we're going to use that so we're not wasting any paper for this project so now what we're going to do this side here we are going to fold this over to towards you on that score line okay. 
and then we're going to bring this piece up and it's going to go up like that so that will create that front pocket grab your uh, preferred adhesive and we are going to open this up and glue down these two sides to create that front pocket Just going to seal that off. Just going to trim this off a little bit. And then we're going to open this back up and we are going to glue along the bottom here up to that scroll line where we made that fold. I really hope you can see my scroll line. I barely can see it myself. Um, the weather's not that great outside, so it's a bit overcast, so I don't have much sunlight. And then we're just going to bring that over and seal that off now, and that will create your back pocket, which will be this side here, which I'll just show you. That creates this side here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to bring this side over on that scroll line, and we're going to bring it this way, fold that over, and then we're going to bring this side on that score line and fold that over this way. So you'll have that piece like that, and when you bring it over this way, you're going to have that pocket and that pocket. So we're going to bring that back this way. Grab this piece of strip of paper that we've cut out and we are going to cut out those two score lines so we get three panels. So we'll cut that one out and then cut this one on that score line. If I can see. All right, so now you'll have, oh, I didn't cut that on the right score line. I didn't see it properly. All right, so I'm going to have two different sizes, but that's fine because I missed the score line. Um, so you're going to have your three pieces. This little piece here that you've uh, got, you're going to fold this in half um, on the longer side. And cut that in half. And then we're going to fold this in half again and... It doesn't really matter which side you fold it if you've got double sided paper because you're not going to see this part because this part we're going to have these two with the fold facing on the outside this is going to come over here where this pocket is so you want that fold line on the outside that's going to get glued onto there and the same with this fold line that's going to go on the outside that's going to give you that little gusset in that pocket so you have a, a wider opening so let's glue down um, the two sides and I'm just gonna glue it this way Okay, so you have your uh, little pieces done. We're going to bring this up now and we're just going to bring it over, push it down, and we're going to seal that off. And then you should have yourself a nice pocket. Okay, so that part's done. Now we're going to grab these two pieces. You see, one, one of mine is shorter, so I'm going to use this one for the other side. And we are going to grab your scoreboard again. You don't have to use your scoreboard with this one, um, but I'm just using the scoreboard. We're going to score um, at a quarter inch on one side on both of them. 
So if you don't want to use a scoreboard, you can just fold it because they're just little flaps just to create a little flap. And then I'm going to fold them over. So one of them will be for your closure for this part here. So what we're going to do now, you we are going to, I'm going to corner around, um, I might use this shorter one that I've made a mistake. I'm just going to corner around the uh, corners so that way it creates like a little envelope shape closure. That is going to get placed on the top here and you can see that's why we make a little fold and that's going to be able to swing open and close. And you just want to decide how high you want your closure to be, depending on your package goodies or whatever you have, just so that it gives you room. So let's say I've got that package goodie in there. I'm just going to probably place it about there, enough to be able to give me a closure overlapping the pocket. So I'm just going to glue that down. So place glue on the little flap. I'm just going to place it about here, nice and straight as you can when following that edge. So that's fine for me there. And then that gives you a little closure. And then you just want to punch a hole like I have here for your trim. So you probably want to punch your hole first before you add your little uh, envelope closure. But I think I'm going to be able just to be able to punch a little hole. So there we have the little closure. You could use a Velcro dot, you could use magnetic uh, magnets, whatever you like. So that part's done. We're going to open this up now. We're going to grab this other piece. And again, we're going to place that along here. And that's going to create another little hinge. And that's the hinge that will hold your two little mini envelopes in place. So we're going to do the same and put glue along the side of the flap. And we're going to line this edge beside the fold line. Not on it, just beside it. That way your book can open and close. Okay, so see now you can open and close that. And that will be able to open and close as well. So that's in place. So we'll grab the two pieces of paper that you've cut at three inches by six inches. I've already made one envelope already. And I'm going to make another one so you know the measurements. Um, you don't have to add an envelope on onto these hin on the hinge. You don't have to do that. You could just add a couple of tags and back to back the tag on one side and one on one side. Um, you don't even have to add this if you don't want to. I just didn't want to waste any of the paper, so I thought this would be a great idea to add these envelopes. All right. On so with your um paper, so you on the three inch side, we are going to score on each end at a quarter inches. So a quarter inch on that side and a quarter inch from the inside that way. And then we're going to turn it around on the six inch side. You're going to score at one and a quarter inches and four inches. And you want to do the same with the other piece. So you'll get two envelopes the same. I love making this style of envelope. It's just so easy to make. And what we're going to do, um, so on the longer piece here, you've got the little shorter part here, we are going to remove all, the, all of that strip up to that score line and then the same with this side up to that score line. And then do your little angle cuts. Done many of these sort of envelopes on a lot of my projects. And you can make heaps of these envelopes with six by six paper. 
So that's how you do that. And I'm just going to crawl around the top part for the closure. Fold over these little side flaps. And then I'm going to glue and assemble the envelope. And then you've got that other school line and that's your closure. So now I have two envelopes. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab one and you're just going to decide where you'd like to place your envelope. So I'm going to, we're going to start with the back one first so that way we can make a little pocket up here. So what we're going to do with that one, that's going to get placed roughly about there. So it's just a little bit um, sitting of that so you're just going to glue down just sort of mark out where you want to glue i'm just going to apply just about here you can use double-sided tape if you like and i'm just going to place that there and then swing this over this way and then this one here is going to get placed about in line with that one and as far down as you want it, so about there. And when you look over, you're going to be able to have this part here for your little tuck spot. So what we're going to do here, we're going to apply a little bit of glue just along here. For now. And then this one here, so that's going to get placed along here. We're going to apply glue just about that much and then we're going to place that about there so that's going to glue that bottom part and I'm just going to open this up and just apply a little bit of glue to the edge here So now that should give me a cute little tuck spot up there once all my glue is dried up. Let me just grab one of these so you can see. So you see that cute little tuck spot just there? And that pretty much completes your little uh, easy fold pocket flip book with mini envelopes. And then you just have fun decorating it however you like. And um, Add all your goodies and then have fun decorating so let me just go back and i'm going to show you how it looks like it's got glue all over my one so this is your uh little uh closure when you open this up it's still a bit wet that is your pocket and then when you open up this way you will have your envelope which is this one and then you could have fun here adding another pocket if you like on this side. And then you're going to turn this over this way. And that's your tuck pocket there like this one. And your little envelope. And then you have your front pocket here like this one. And then you have your back pocket. It's just the same as this one here. And then you have your back where you can also add another pocket here if you want. You can add another envelope. There's uh, still a lots of um, ways you can make it more interactive. And then all I've done was on this part here, that's where I punched a little hole on the back there to um, add my little dangle. So I just punched it um, along here. So that is uh, how to make the flip book. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and I hope it wasn't too difficult. I did have fun making this. So I hope you have a go and creating one of these and um, have fun decorating and adding your goodies. So I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.